Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Almost Tactical. In this episode we're going to be doing a review, maybe not a full review, but a decent review or a follow-up of this Rise Armament 223 Wild Stainless Steel 20.2. I believe those are sniper barrel or I don't remember. I'll, I'll get the exact number. But anyways, I had mixed feelings about it. Um, not saying Rise Armament isn't good. They're just not notorious for precision, to my knowledge. But anyways, it was uh, right under three hundred dollars, and it was it fit everything I wanted, so that's why I bought it. And I finally took it to get to do groups today, and man, let me tell you, was I surprised. Also, before we go any further, I have a Vortex uh, Diamondback. 4 to 12, 4 to 12. I know it's a, it's a good scope, but it's not your long range shooting scope or you're, you know, hitting the same hole every time. It, it's kind of hard. I'll try to put a picture of what it looks through at a hundred yards at these targets. But yeah, it's hard to really, really pinpoint what you're trying to hit when it comes to, you know, quarter size targets. Uh, so realistically for me to get the most out of this I feel like I could use a better scope something that magnifies a whole lot more and what I've learned not this just this time but other times is that bipod bipods are not the most stable uh, thing you can put your rifle on I highly recommend bags or saddles or whatever your sweater something that you can fully rest the rifle on uh, to where you're not, you know, doing this movement where you're trying to shoot. So anyways, let's get to the groups. So I had to sight it in first, but after I did, I did this test. And I'll try to put a whole picture of what this is. But basically, I like to run different types of ammunition. See if, if there's a specific uh, round that this uh, barrel prefers than others. Well, what I found is that it really didn't matter. They liked them all. So I'm gonna start here with Frontier. 62 grain, these are 5.56, five, not 2.23. Two, and let me tell you, look at that. I don't know if it's focused or not. Nah, you can blame it on me if you want, doesn't matter. Look at this next one, Frontier, 68 grain. This is 2.23, two, look at that group. And yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing over here, but that's where I was. There you go. Uh, Fiocchi. I think that this is probably the best round for it. Um, this is the group, even though it's not as tight as those, but it seemed to be really consistent. Maybe it was just me. I don't know, but I really like this Fiocchi. I like all these three. So keep in mind, as I was going down, I was kind of shooting nonstop, so the barrel was getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And as you know, a hot barrel isn't very accurate. So I'm not sure if that, how huge of a part that played or not, but we'll continue. Uh, match line, 75 grain, boat tail hollow point. I'm using these because they're 75 grain for that reason only. Decent group, I don't know if you can see it. Decent group, uh, here you can see the line which target it belongs to. There's your last one. Then I got a Hornady 55 grain G, GMX. Uh, these are 5.56. Five, and you can see, where's that? I kind of tried circling it. Uh, I was getting movement here, I know that, because I could feel it. But it performed pretty well. You have, am I the same one? Yeah, you have that one and that one. I don't know if I can. Uh, yeah, sorry. There you go. You have that hole there, and that one was right on the money. Uh, then you have Hornady Superformance 53 grain V Max Varmint, which is what I hunt with. Uh, I have another video about this round. I really, really like it. Let me see if it makes it easier this way. Uh, but here you have a not so good group. I, I kind of didn't like this group, even though it's not bad. I mean, for hunting. 
it'll do what you need it to do, but it's not the greatest. I didn't shoot anymore because I was limited on those and I really like those for hunting. And my Sons of Liberty just loves these. So I didn't want to shoot the last few rounds I had. And this last one being uh, your bulk 5.56 and 193 ammunition that you buy for five, six, seven dollars a box. Uh, just the cheapest stuff. Yeah, the cheapest rounds you can find. Now this shot, I will say, I totally felt when I pulled that, and that's because I was trying to leave the range already, and uh, I kind of didn't care. So blame that on me. And here, I took a little more time, and you could see, I don't know if you could see that, but in my opinion, for me not having the best tools, uh, the best scope, uh, the best r uh, rifle rest, that being your cheap ammunition. Let's see, I got a, I got a ruler here. That was an inch and three eighths, under an inch and a half. I know it's not sub in way, but under an inch and a half on the cheapest am ammunition you can find with a hot barrel, I'll take it. The Frontiers, both of them came in at about half an inch, especially this group here. Let's see there. So yeah, and before I shot these, I shot the best group I've shot my whole life. Which was this group right here. Now I know for a lot of y'all, this is what y'all do on y'all's worst day. But I'll be honest, I've never shot anything like this. I don't have uh, anything that is for precision per se. Uh, most of my stuff is just regular tactical, nothing special. And then it's low to mid budget. So anyways, and that right there, my friends, is it's about the same. It's, it's about half an inch. But yeah, would you look at that? I've never performed that well, ever. So anyways, and it's all because of this. And I tell you that because I used the same lower as my Sons of Liberty, which has a JP springs on trigger to make it a little bit lighter. And my Sons of Liberty shoots a little bit worse than this, or not as good, I should say. Uh, I don't do any competitions or anything. Mainly I do hunting. So to me, this works out perfectly fine. But anyways, if you're in the market for a not super expensive barrel for uh, accuracy, obviously there's a lot of options, but if you're considering the Rise Armament 20 inch, 20.2 inch, it's well worth it. 100% it is worth it. In my opinion, I love it and I'm very happy. Anyways, so that's kind of the first official review I've done of anything. Uh, if you like this kind of content, you will be getting some more soon. So hit the like button because it makes me happy. And don't forget to subscribe for more content. Uh, I am working on the 6.5 Creedmoor. That's going to be for accuracy. So check it out.